Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is Mania True Nerd, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. You only live once, where you join me on the strip. Of course, we have actually made it to the strip. And obviously, there's one very important thing that we have to do as an absolute priority. We are vilified by Caesar's Legion, and that is very, very, very bad, because those hit squads... Well, I could take those hit squads now, I think. With the with my anti-material rifle and explosive rounds, I could deal with the hit squads, but they still pose a pretty damn major risk to me. So I want to get rid of that right the hell now. And we're going to do that by going into here, into the tops, and taking care of of Benny. We're in good shape otherwise. 300 out of a maximum of 390 hit points according to the true health counter. Let's head inside and see what we can do here. Obviously we'll start off by being asked to turn over all our weapons. That's absolutely fine. I'll keep the holdouts though just on the off chance. I'm curious how much am I able to get past them now given I'm dressed like this. I don't feel like this you know has got many pockets where I can just like hide weapons. I feel like it's pretty damn skin tight but let's see anyway. Well, somewhere inside this skin-tight leather cat suit thing, I have a revolver, a combat knife, a plasma pistol, and a power fist. Very nice indeed. But obviously, we want to head straight to Swank and speak to him. Hello, baby. Welcome to the tops. What can I do for you? First things first, you can go for his dialogue here and just use Black Widow to get some free money. Yep, 100 bottle caps. Nice and easy. And next things next, obviously, we want to get straight into, I think you should know something about Benny. Really? You got something to say about the big boss, huh? I do indeed. And obviously there's two routes you can go down here. Uh, you can pa There's three speech checks to pass. Speech 15, Benny's been making a play. Speech 30, Benny tried to kill me and stole a platinum chip. And speech 45, he tried to make it look like an accident. Just a traveler killed and robbed in the wasteland. He's trying to pull a fast one on the big man. Okay. And then obviously you can also present him with evidence as well. The evidence is I've got the lighter in Boulder City. There's also a note that you can get off Manny's computer in Novak or the distinctive cigarette in the graveyard in Good Springs. I didn't happen to uh, pick up either of those, but you don't need them. I think you actually only need... I think you might only need two. I used to think it was three out of the six. Any three out of the available six options uh, and you're fine. But I think it might actually only be two. So I've got four to turn over. So, uh, that's it. What do you... Swank's kind of frozen a bit of an opposition there. What do you think, Swank? Jesus, kid. I think we got a real problem on our hands. Can't believe Benny's a no-good stinking punk trying to play house like that. So now we've got a choice with Swank. We can either tell him to send Benny to his room and we'll take care of him there. We can tell Swank to keep Ben distracted while I search his room. Or I can ask him to get my guns back. Yeah, sure. Take your stuff back. You'll need it. So, my objective is assassinate Benny. Very good indeed. And we'll notice there, Benny is already on the move. We could, of course, uh, wait for him to go out of the way, but I don't think we need to. Instead, let's just walk up to him right now. Hello, Benny. Hello, Benny. Benny. Hello. It's me. It's... It... Wow, okay. Fine, fine. What in the goddamn... Oh, now he notices me. Let's keep this in the groove, hey? So obviously the easiest way for me to deal with Benny as I've got the Black Widow perk would of course be to seduce him. I am not going to do that. And the very particular reason I'm not going to do that is because sleeping with him would involve sleeping. And sleeping is a form of healing and I've specifically said I won't be doing any sleeping or healing so I feel like that will break the rules. So instead I'm going to do it a different way which is fine. Let's just go through his dialogue quickly. I want the platinum chip and Benny will start playing for time claiming there's complexities. And luckily with speech 60 we can get him upstairs out of the way right now. Lose the bodyguards we go to the suite right now. If that's what it takes to win your trust that's what it takes. Follow me. So, that done, we can just run along to the presidential suite. You may have to wait an hour or so, but Benny will now appear. As long as you've passed the speech check, he will show up. So, you've now got Benny here, and uh, you can kind of go around here. There's, there's, there's some st fun stuff to explore. I like the little boardroom here with all the new colas and the mugs and everything. Um, if you don't have your weapons because your weapons were stolen from you, and you want to take Benny out here... You have a pool cue here, which is not a terrible weapon, and you've got a safe here, which can be cracked open too. Uh, this safe, I'm pretty sure, actually has fixed. Uh, I think it has actually just fixed items. It's always the same thing. So you've got a 10mm machine gun in okay condition. Uh, you've got a power fist, 
and a grenade rifle with some grenades for it, which is not bad. So if you happen to have no weapons and you've brought Benny up here, you could just literally use those to uh, to kill him, I think. Um, here's a fun story about the first time I've ever played New Vegas. I'm not sure I mentioned this uh, whenever I've played New Vegas before, because I think in both the previous playthroughs of New Vegas I've done on this channel, I did the Seduce Benny route. Uh, actually, no, I no kill I did the Seduce Benny route. In the kill everything, I just merged him on the floor. Um, the first time I ever played New Vegas... I actually did this. I had high enough speech to lure Benny upstairs. And if you speak to him, he'll give you a great big speech about how he wants to work with you now. And he'll, you know, he'll give you a cut of the action. And, you know, him and you are going to go far together. And I believed it. I genuinely believed Because it's such a computer game thing to do. You catch up with the bad guy and he reveals, actually, not I'm willing to work with you now. And, you know, and that means you, you and him can work together and become allies. And maybe there'll be a romance plot and other stuff. I genuinely thought that was where it was going. So for that reason, I believed him. And I said, okay. And then he walked off and then immediately sent assassins after me. Because of course he meant immediately fled the casino because it was all a lie. And it's so perfect for the character that it's delivered. That is just delivered completely straight. It's just brilliant. I'm going to quickly check around because I can't remember if there's any skill books or anything in here. No, it looks like it's just a true police stories, which is, you know, okay, but not spectacular. There are a pile of bottle caps on the table, which is nice. But today, today, Benny doesn't get away with that. Today, Benny, unfortunately, quietly goes down inside this suite. So, good night, Benny. Lovely. And is that going to be enough to push me? Not quite, but I think I will in a second when I, uh, when I loot his body. Because we will find, of course, Benny's sweet key, the platinum chip, most importantly. Uh, Maria, the unique variant of the 9mm, which is it's, it's a lot better than normal 9mm, but honestly, this stage of the game already, it's pretty much useless to me, so I might get rid of that fairly soon. Uh, Benny's suit, which I occasionally like wearing just to rub it in, and the platinum chip, which I'm pretty sure comes with a massive pile of experience. Yes, there we are, level 18, lovely. So, guns. Guns can obviously go up to 100. I want my anti-material rifle to be maxed out, which is great. Now... Hmm, <laughs> let me think. Lockpick, let's get lockpick up to 80, so I don't need to put on a hat. I can just pop a locksmith reader and get that to 100. What do I want to start moving upwards? And let's get science moving up a little bit too, lovely. And what are the perks that are new at 18? Well, here's something I've been meaning to take for a little while, but I just hadn't quite got round to it yet. Finesse. Finesse is a great perk, so I'll take Finesse now for extra chance to score a critical hit, and that stacks with some other perks I can take soon very nicely indeed. There we go. Ring-a-ding-ding -ding is complete. So, that done. Don't worry about wandering around the casino. The chairman will not turn on you as long as you've dealt with Swank. That's why it's really important to talk with Swank, because he'll keep the rest of the guys from dealing with you. Now, let's have a quick chat with Swank again. You ready to deal with Benny yet? He's pretty dead. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Excellent. Good, good. Huh. Guess that makes me the boss. Ring-a-ding. So, Swank's become the boss, but doesn't seem overwhelmingly, uh, doesn't seem overwhelmingly appreciative, quite frankly, but never mind. Anyway, it's definitely worth going upstairs. Obviously, that's kind of the next big thing we need to do. And that's through the uh, the elevators that are just around here. Obviously, one thing it is worth doing is uh, all of these doors, aside from Benny's own, are locked, uh, but they're not uh, they're not red. So you can just crack open all of them for easy experience, which I'm going to quickly do now. You'd also find lots of dresses in this area. So if you happen to like need some outfits that give you like uh, agility or some of the business wear that gives you a little bit of bonus speech, uh, that's an easy thing to do in this area too. Anyway, easy 200 experience for doing that, and then just head into Benny's suite. And in the back of the suite, we obviously find Yes Man. I'm going to quickly go through all his dialogue options now, just so I can move on. Obviously, I don't actually care about Yes Man. I won't really be doing his plot that much at all, but need to speak to him to advance the plot. So, I've just activated all of the Yes Man quests. That's mainly just... Uh, for my own reference, that's uh, not really kind of likely to come up unless I really mess everything up. And now, most importantly, if we wander back outside... The eyes of the mighty Kaiser. Ah, the eyes of the mighty Kaiser upon us. It is Volpez in Kulta. Any crimes you may have perpetrated against the Legion are hereby forgiven. My lord requires your presence at his camp at Fortification Hill. 
So there we are. We are now had our crimes against the Legion forgiven, including the massacre at Bitter Springs rather conveniently. And he wanders off. You there. I have a message for you. And the NCR also run up and again, they also offer me a complete pardon. Though I didn't need a pardon because obviously uh, I've been fairly nice to the NCR so far. But now, having received that mark of Kaiser, very, very importantly indeed, the Legion have completely disappeared from our reputation guide. The reason for that is because um, if you basically have no positive and no negative reputation with a given faction, they don't show up here at all. So the NCR are still here because I, I, the good stuff isn't wiped out, only the bad stuff. The Legion, however, have disappeared because they've got rid of all the bad stuff, but there's no good stuff. So uh, basically they're not there yet, they don't even show up on my reputation counter. And that means no hit squads, which is exactly what I needed. So that is magnificent news. Now we can go up and visit Mr. House in a second, but one quick thing to do first. Through in the third and final area of the strip, there is obviously Vault 21. Not many reasons to come in here, but there is one good one. And that is just head left from the main room you enter first. And down the end of this corridor, we will find Sarah's bedroom. Is it this one? Yes, you can tell that it's hers. Because it's the one you're not supposed to go into. So let's go into it. And just close up the door behind us and have a good loot in here. There's actually a few locked uh, containers in here and some good stuff. Most importantly, in her dresser, 220 bottle caps. Plus some Medex. And some Nuke Cola. A bonnet, some scotch, some sexy sleepwear, and some vault suits and vodka. So this is a woman who knows how to have a good time. But most importantly, really, there is the snow globe for the strip. Which is very good indeed. So with that in hand, I'm going to head straight back out again. So here we are, the lucky 38. Let's go in here as well. Hello, Victor. Sorry to keep you waiting. And the casino doors just creak open. In front of everyone, I just kind of wander in, apparently, uh, yep, I just kind of go straight in, never mind. Obviously, there's some good looting to be done in this room. There's the, uh, the kind of the cashier room back there that's full of all sorts of contraband. And there's a fully stocked bar, of course, which contains all sorts of valuable booze. Worth mainly just kind of going through all the, uh, the safes, really, because that's, uh, because pre-war money doesn't actually weigh anything. If you're looking to prioritise something, take the top shelf vodka. In terms of weight to value ratio, uh, generally you want to go for cigarettes and vodka. That's kind of the best stuff you're going to find. Anyway, as soon as you've looted as much as you can carry, head on up to the top floor. Where to, partner? And of course, we finally get to meet up with Mr. House up here. Let's have a nice chat with you, Housey. You've been a busy courier, haven't you? You take your obligation to deliver a package very seriously. An ethic for which I am grateful. And for a thousand caps, I'll definitely hand over the chip. Such a small thing, isn't it? And yet so capacious. And Mr. House whooshes us down to the basement to watch his little diorama. Yes, 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 I'm approaching the thing. And he's going to tell me that the uh, the robots were actually on their old operating system and the chip unlocks the new operating system and it isn't that good, blah, blah, blah. Trips to the basement are rarely so educational, don't you think? I have no idea what that line is supposed to mean. So there we are. There's an extra 500 experience points for completing the House Always Wins 1, which I completed immediately because I had the chip because Benny didn't escape with it. So that done, you may as well move on to the next mission. The next step will require you to infiltrate Caesar's camp at Fortification Hill. So there we are. House has asked me to go to Caesar's Fort. We will do that at some point or other. Not necessarily immediately. That won't be necessary. Now... We go back and chat to Victor. Congratulations, partner. The boss has instructed me to come you to the high roller suite. So that's the kind of the, the nice home suite in the Lucky 38, which I hate because it doesn't have windows, so it's always really dark. Uh, it's, it's very odd, that. Uh, but more importantly, the cocktail lounge opens up. Cocktail lounge has two very important things. Well, a few things. Well, obviously, it's got cash registers for some more free uh, money that doesn't weigh anything. If you just go around the outside here, you will find, there it is, another snow globe. But even more importantly, if you go down here, you will find a briefcase locked hard in here. It's uh, very close by to the entrance, as the entrance is just there. So if you crack that open, some very important items, such as C4 explosives times three, and a detonator. Very cool indeed. 
Now that's obviously some pretty... I think that might be pretty... Well, actually, no, it's not the most powerful explosive in the game because there's a couple you can unlock through the Mad Bomber perk that are better. But it's a really, really good thing. It's like, if you need to really cause an explosion, I mean really cause an explosion, uh, that stuff is good. So, that was useful. Meanwhile, back to the penthouse. Now we've got that snow globe. We can speak to Jane and turn in those snow globes because House collects them and pays very well for them. So, I've got some snow globes for Mr. House's collection. You do? And I get 8,000 bottle caps, because uh, I think I had four on me. Because uh, I got the one at Hoover Dam, the one at the Boomers, the one I just picked up, and the Strip one. Uh, so I'm pretty sure I just turned in four for 8,000 there, so brilliant. So that brings me back up to 10,000 caps, which is a great place to be. And now let's just head outside. Sadly, even when the casino starts all glowing again, because you've kind of started repairing the casino, it starts coming back to life. You can never gamble here. Uh, there's, there's nothing here you can ever actually use for anything, which is a bit of a shame, but never mind. Excuse me, but are you the courier who caused all of that trouble in the tops? Why, yes. Thank you, Emily Ortel. Yes, I am. So, this is Emmy Ortel. She wants to give us the moon comes over the tower. She wants us to install a device inside the Lucky 38. It's incredibly easy to do, so let's do that for some free experience. You just have to install it upstairs in here. Uh, you can actually go and tell uh, Mr. House that you've just done this, but he basically says, yeah, I noticed and turned it off immediately. He doesn't even mind, so uh, not really worth it. Bug the Lucky 38 network. There we are. Mysteriously, yes, even though that said, like, hard uh, to, that's a kind of hard to hack, it's, you, you can't hack it or anything, it's kind of weird. I'm um, not sure quite why that is, but uh, never mind, you just bug it and then get straight back out again. Hey, have you been able to bug Mr. House's network yet? Yes, yes, it's done. Easy 500 experience, and she gets some readings, then it immediately gets turned off, because House found it immediately. Done. And that's it, that is literally the whole of that quest. It's I think, I can't think of an easier question in the whole game. Because uh, I'm pretty sure you don't actually have to have 75 science to install the bug. You can just do it anyway. So I think literally, because if you've, if you've made it to the strip, the game as a pre, you know, as, as an event just says you're allowed to go inside the Lucky 38. You go in, speak to house, come out. She says plan the bug. You go back in, so you're always going to be allowed back in. You plan the bug, which has no skill checks. You come back out again, and you get 500 experience. I cannot think of a quest in the entire game that's any easier than that. Anyway, that was a little bit short, so let's do one more thing here on the strip, which is I want to finish up the Ultralux. Uh, so first things first in the Ultralux, we've got these two people here. So this is Walter, but before you speak to him, make sure that you're wearing some sort of perception boosting items to get you up to 7 perception. My sheriff's hat with the usual gear will do just fine. And with perception 7, you look more than hot. What's the problem, Walter? And he wants revenge against someone inside the Ultraluck. Damn heck Gunderson, a rancher that he thinks has done him harm. So once you've learnt that, speak to his wife. I don't suppose you have the magic powers necessary to bring my husband to his senses, do you? I just might do, I Ethel. Swear. So once I know that that's what she wants, now I can tell him that Ethel's right, vengeance will only lead to more innocent death. But with speech at 75, we can talk him down. All right. I'm going to get Ethel far away from this damn city and head back home. So again, a very easy quest. I'm pretty sure, yep, that pushes right up into level 19. Very nice. Very easy bunch of experience again. All right, what do we want to get out of this level then? Right, let's get sneak up a little bit more yet, I think. And science can go up to 75 too. And let's just move explosives up a tiny bit because I've neglected it so much. There we go. Anyway, that done, we can head over to the Ultralux itself, and we can start having an investigate of the plot that is going on in there. So, here we are inside the Ultralux, and obviously we can have a chat with Heck Gunderson here to start things off, but first things first, let's chat to the bartender. I've got some stuff to sell. Oh yeah, I forgot. They offer appalling prices on everything, so I don't want to sell in here, at least. I'll sell in the restaurant upstairs later, I think. So, Heck Gunderson, what's your problem? By any chance, has your son gone missing and you need help finding him? So, that begins Beyond the Beef, and the request has been updated for me to have a look around the hotel and see what I can figure out. So, let's have a chat with Marjorie and see what we can figure out here. I know our reputation hasn't always been spotless, but that's all in the past now. How some people can't get over it is beyond me. For the last time, 
The White Glove Society has never and will never consume human flesh for any reason. So obviously now we know the White Gloves used to be cannibals at least. So let's have a chat to Mortimer and see what he's got to say for himself. How may I be of service, ma'am? And um, brilliantly, having kind of learnt what you did upstairs, you can just go straight up to him and say, So, I've heard your group dines on human flesh. Any comment on that, Mortimer? Yes. I've heard that one too. Jealous people say such nasty things. But with a speech of 62, you can convince him you actually are a cannibal, which is what I'm going to do. Because the normal ethical, solve everything, rescue people, turn this group away from cannibalism route that you go down, um, it does kind of cause a bit of a problem, which is you run into an assassin and a couple of people from the staff attack you, and there's multiple fights during it, and it's generally a bit dangerous. Whereas if you go down the establishment route and just try and help Mortimer along, I think it's generally a lot safer. So that is what we are going to do. Good. And you know what it is to be discreet in matters of nutrition. But there's a bit of a problem with the main course. Oh. He's got a powerful and temperamental father. And so we learn what happened to, uh, to Het Gunderson's son, Ted Gunderson. I love that line. It's great. So, first things first, let's head through the gourmand and use the key that I was just given in order to get into the kitchen. And because I'm here on business, no one minds me being here at all. Head downstairs and through. This guy will see me. Hello. Hello. What do you think you're doing? I'm here on business. Look, Mortimer wants me to release the kit if he'll cooperate. So, that's fine. He'll let me through on that basis. Straight through to the kitchen at the end here. And here is the freezer in question. Hello. And luckily we can... Ted Gunson's not very bright, so we can have a chat with him and talk him round. Who did this to me anyway? They hit me over the head before I got a look at him. And with a relatively low speech check, just 38, then you can lie to him and just say that he was set up to look like it was the white gloves, but it definitely wasn't actually. My daddy's got a lot of enemies. It don't make no sense that the White Pants Society would kidnap me. So, that's nice and easy. Now we can just lead Ted back up to his father. He'll just follow you. And obviously no one will make a fuss because they're all on your side. Mysteriously, of course, he doesn't raise the very interesting point, which is, I was locked in a white glove freezer. Why did nobody flipping release me? Why did the chef not find me? Why did no staff members find me and release me? But never mind. Interestingly, Ted's ready for a fight, even though there's no violence going on, but he's just kind of permanently now in his kind of shaking his fist, ready to punch people pose for whatever reason. And just lead him back through the casino. And bring him up to his father, and that will sort out that problem nice and easy. Oh my god. Ted, are you alright? Quit your hollering. I'm fine. You got me my boy back. I got no words. How about money? Do you got money? And then obviously you can uh, tell on Mortimer, or the blame the whole White Glove Society. Or you can just say, don't know, I just found him. Which is obviously... To my mind, the way to go, because it means you get more white glove and strip fame. Confound it. I just don't know how I'm supposed to sleep, knowing whoever done this got away. And I'm accepted on the strip. And that is nice and lovely. So that done, obviously now we need to find the replacement person to eat. Carlisle St. Clair. Let's go and find him, shall we? He basically just lives up to the north of Outer Vegas itself. I feel pretty safe out here. I think there's nothing too bad out this way. There might be some mad Brahmin I ought to keep an eye on, but in general I'm feeling pretty good about this area. Can't see much in the way of bad things. The thing to watch out for actually is of course he does actually have booby traps set up and I cannot remember exactly what traps or where. I still haven't taken the light step perk. I've just always wanted more other perks more. So it's going to be a little bit careful. Because I, I, I think I've completed the mission this way precisely once. And I cannot for the life of me remember what actually happened. And because they said there were booby traps. But I haven't seen any booby traps. So... Okay... Why the no? Fine. Hello, Carlos and Claire. You, you, you have the worst trapping laying ever. Keep your distance. Who are you and what do you want? 
And the nice easiest way to do this is uh, Guns45 look out behind you and then just pistol whip him, which is great. Um, or you can Black Widow him and quite possibly the, the most kind of, yes, uh, the most um line in the entire game. I want your naked body stud go into the dumpster and I'll meet you after I change. Um, yeah, uh, intriguing. So uh, what have you. But possibly the more interesting route is uh, tell him that you're just here to talk. And then after he gives you a little speech about his ruined reputation, speech of 45, joining the White Glove Society could clear your name. They're respected. I've heard of them. Ultralux, right? Yeah, that'd be a step in the right direction. <laughs> They'd never have me, though. And speech, talk to a man named Mortimer. He's looking for some big name new members. In fact, I'm recruiting you right now, Carlisle Sinclair. Yeah. Okay, maybe I will. Hell, anything's better than this. Thanks. And he runs straight off. Brilliantly. Oh, I love that. I love that moment. It's, you know, it's one thing to just knock him unconscious or kind of trick him into hiding in a dumpster and then lock him in there. It's another thing to talk him into actually freely choosing to go to the casino where he's going to be eaten like a lamb to the slaughter. That That's a whole, that's a whole extra level, I think. Anyway, that done. Let's head back to Mortimer. Hello, Mortimer. How is it going? Any word as to our arrangement? And I sent Carlisle Sinclair to come and speak with you? Of his own volition. My goodness, you are very professional, aren't you? Well, be sure to be a hit at our next banquet. You can't help but like Mortimer. I love his turns of phrase when he's talking about cannibalism. It's quite good. So that is that mission completed. Let's just uh, wait until after 7pm. There we are. Ah, Mortimer! Back. You're always a welcome guest here. Why, thank you very much. Now, did you succeed in turning the White Glove Society back to cannibalism, Mortimer? I certainly did. Philippe created an extraordinary amuse-bouche from the flesh of the late Mr. St. Clair. Everyone at the banquet loved it. I told them what it was and the room was quiet for a moment, but then we all had a hearty laugh. So, what's next? What's next for the cannibal group now? Now that it's been accepted, it will become a regular course for us. It's a new and exciting frontier for our chef. I've never seen him so cheerful. You see, isn't that nice? Isn't that nice that really I've helped a lot of people out? I've helped out Mortimer, I've helped the chef kind of recover. Lovely. Now will you be serving human flesh at the gourmand? Oh, I very much doubt that. What fun would it be if everyone could have it? And thanks to that, I'm immediately idolised by the White Glove Society. And I'm also accepted on the strip, thanks to the fact that I kept meat flowing out of the White Glove Society, though probably best not to ask what sort of meat it is exactly. So, with the Ultralux taken care of, and Benny and the first part of the house always wins, we've actually done quite a lot of what we can do on the strip today, and gained a couple of levels too, which is great. And that means, now that we've done the reputation reset, that means we've kind of got to come to a pretty big decision very soon. And that is one that I am leaving to you, the community, and that is, what ending do you want me to try and achieve in this game? Because of course there's multiple paths we could go down now, and uh, I haven't decided for certain which one I was planning to do. Now my original intention was to do the NCR ending, because I think it's kind of, it's it's got the most stuff in it, the NCR ending. I think to my mind it's like the good ending. I mean it's not perfect, but it's probably the best of the endings for everyone involved, to my mind. It means the Brotherhood get to live, it means there's all sorts of fun stuff I can do with various factions. I have to work with it, it's the most content um, available related to the NCR. So that was my original intention. However, I'm willing to leave this to the community. Tell me in the comments below which ending do you want me to do? Because I know I've done the NCR before. I did the NCR ending in the No Kill run. So I know some of you don't want to see that necessarily. You kind of may have seen that, uh, you might have seen that before. Some of people seem to be wanting me to do the Mr. House route, which is interesting. Mr. House has the advantage that obviously Mr. House, uh, I can pretty much guarantee that I shouldn't need to deal with any hit squads, uh, Legion or NCR which is kind of nice. So I could deal with the Lucky 38 and Mr. House. Of course, the other option is the Legion. A few people said they wanted to see me do the uh, the Legion version. Now, I do have something planned for the future where I'm planning to cover some Legion content. So don't feel like you need to vote for Legion just because otherwise you'll never see me do Legion. I'm actually planning in the future to do something that will include a lot of Legion content, so don't worry about that. So this is really just about, for this character, for this run, for this rule set, which of those endings 
do you want to see? Do you want me to go down the House, the NCR or the Legion route? That is a big question that we need to be answered. And one of the thing, there will not be an episode of Fortnite in Vegas. You only live once next week. Instead, I'm doing a super special Christmas special thing. That will be coming next Sunday instead. I, I, I've been working on this for a little while. I think it's very cool. I hope you're looking forward to that too. And then after that point, I'm having Christmas and New Year off. I'm going to go spend it with friends and family, crazily enough. So I'm going to have a little break over Christmas and New Year just to recharge my batteries a bit. And we will be back in the New Year. So Fortnite Vegas, you only live once, will return in the New Year. But there will be a very big, cool Christmas special thing next week to tide you over. But yes, there we go. That is Benny dealt with my uh, my bad reputation with the Legion taken care of. The old trucks cleared out, probably not in the way you were exactly expecting. And also we've had our first little chat with Mr. House over in the Lucky 38. So I feel like we've made some big progress this part. And next time, next time when we pick up at the very beginning of January, we will actually know for certain, thanks to the comments below, which ending we will be shooting for. Quite literally, quite possibly. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been Many a True Now. This has been Fortney Vegas. You only live once. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Good dodge. Good dodge, man. Question is, can you keep it up, cop? Oh, no, you can't. Ooh, nice. Oh, didn't quite get that one, though. We are going to the gun store in style. Oh, where's my partner? Oh, he's not here. Oh, so long, loser. <laughs>